Meanwhile, researchers hope plasma from coronavirus survivors may help cure seriously ill patients. We should note that plasma therapy for the virus is still experimental and clinical trials are underway. Senior medical correspondent Dr. Tara Narula spoke with families who turned to this type of therapy when all else failed. We really didn't expect him to, um, to decline so rapidly the way he did. It was just difficult. I didn't even know he was going into the coma, so I couldn't even say anything to him. Doctors at Orlando Health tried a cocktail of drugs, including hydroxychloroquine, to help save 52-year-old husband and father, Kevin Rathel. But days passed with no improvement. Grayson right here, she broke down a couple of times just crying. And she says, I just want my daddy home. After hearing about the promise of plasma therapy, it became his wife Stacy's mission to find a plasma donor. And she quickly found a match on Facebook three days after the transfusion. We love you. You hear us? We love you, Dad. Kevin woke up from a medically induced coma. He's crying? Oh, baby, I see you. I see you. We love you. You're going to beat this, okay? He's now able to talk and is expected to go home today. It's my last night at the hospital. The treatment gives sick patients the antibody-rich blood plasma from recovered patients to help fight the virus. One plasma donation can potentially treat up to three infected patients. We need to do the clinical trials to know when, if, and how to use it. Dr. Arturo Casadevall has been studying antibodies for over three decades and says while more research needs to be done, it shows promise and history is on its side. The first Nobel Prize in medicine was given for the discovery that you could treat a disease with antibodies. It was used in the 1918 flu epidemic. And more recently, it's been used in the SARS outbreak in 2003. He says timing plays a huge role in the success of a transfusion. We think you can get much more bang for the buck if you treat people early. Brothers Craig, Jason, and Jeff Wurz were not just fearing the worst, but preparing for it after their 76-year-old dad, Henry, was hospitalized for over three weeks. I mean, we're down to the, the time where we were asked to say, possibly say goodbye, and uh, even looking for funeral places and what, what the policies are during this period. Similar to the Rathel family, they turned to Facebook for help in finding a plasma donor. Were you all nervous at any point about trying something that was so experimental? No. Our dad was, was headed in a downward spiral. This was one of our only shots. Craig's high school friend turned out to be their savior. It can't be more rewarding, whether you know the recipient or not. You're doing a good thing, you're saving a life. And shortly after the plasma therapy, their dad slowly began to show signs of improvement. And over this weekend, news that he could be coming home soon. Successes like the one we had today um, give us some um, hope that maybe we're onto something here. How do you think your father is going to feel when he hears about the tremendous effort that you put forth? to save him. Proud. I think that's the only word I could think of. We acted as one. I mean, I think he's going to be proud of that. And Dr. Tara Narula joins us now. Wow, Tara, these are such encouraging stories. But not everyone is as lucky as these families are, have been in finding donors. Why is it so difficult to find them? Well, Anthony, before this pandemic, there really wasn't a fully functional system in place. That's evolving real time. One of the other issues is that the demand really outweighs the supply. We have lots of people who are still sick, still recovering. So the situation will definitely be different in a month or two. And then we've talked a lot about the testing logistically in order to donate. You need to have that documented positive test and then that documented negative test. And we know how hard it's been to get testing at all for any, any part of the, your illness. Uh, and lastly, if you want to donate to somebody that is a friend or a family member, you also have to have the same blood types that has to be matched. All right, some progress though, Tara. Thank you so much.